It is burning on the state park. It's consumed most of our primitive area and our hiking trails and some of our backcountry. That was Sunday night. By Monday afternoon, it got worse. Well, it looks pretty bleak at the moment. Uh, we're the threatened, the cabins at Bastrop are pretty well threatened. I think we're gonna be able to save them tonight. But Tuesday, the fire was closing in on Bastrop State Park's refectory, an historic building built by the Civilian Conservation Corps during the 1930s. On that far part of the flank. So far, over 75 Texas Parks and Wildlife personnel, including state park firefighters, parks police, and game wardens, have bulldozed fire lanes, sprayed water on buildings and campgrounds in an attempt to save the park. It's questionable with the smoke you can see coming along here. If it gets into this canyon down below us here, it's going to be very difficult to hold the fire from going all the way to Bastrop. All but 100 acres of the 6,000-acre park have been blackened by fire, but firefighters have so far been able to save most of the CCC structures. Wildlife is also in jeopardy, and park officials are concerned about threats to the endangered Houston toad. The 124,000-acre Lost Pines area of Bastrop County, which includes the state park, is home to the largest known population of the small reclusive amphibian in the United States. Months of drought has already stressed the Houston toad habitat and makes for fast fuel for a wildfire's appetite. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Lydia Saldana.